I'm going to be ranking the top 100 cards right now in NBA 2K23. My team, we have a tier list here ranking from S that goes all the way down to F tier. And like I said, guys, we got the top 100 cards currently in my team. So let me know in the comment section down below your guys' favorite cards in the game. And of course, let me know what you guys would change about my tier list. But we got a lot of cards that go through top 100 cards in the game. Let's get it started here with Anthony Davis. I do think Invincible AD probably going to be in C tier. Kind of hard to rank the first couple cards when we're talking about the top 100 card tier list, right? It's hard to get them in the exact right tier. There's just so many other cards that go over, but I think Anthony Davis still provides you with some pretty good defense. He's six foot ten at power forward, so not the greatest height for that power forward spot, but not terrible. I think there's a couple better power forwards. He's definitely better than, you know, on this tier list. So I do think AD going to be in that C tier category. Now, Bill Russell, I'm going to go B tier. I still think Bill Russell brings great de uh, great defense to the table, right? He's 6'10 at that small four position, 7'4 wingspan, has a great player model, and we know he's going to be an elite level defender. And that's the one thing for sure Bill Russell brings to the table. So I think he's going to be a B tier card. AK-47, got to be A tier. I don't think he's S tier anymore. Like there's just so many other good shooting guards, other good small forwards, especially with that new next drop. Yeah, AK is still a 6'9 shooting guard, 7 foot wingspan, elite level defender, still has a pretty good jump shot, good dribble sigs. Like AK is still an amazing card. I think you got to throw him an A tier. Uh... Oh, is this Amen Thompson? Amen Thompson, I would say, is A as well. I think Amen Thompson's actually a top five point guard, so I don't think he's S, but I think Amen Thompson is an absolute beast at that point guard position. If I quickly check him out here, six foot seven at point guard, seven foot wingspan, great all around stats and badges. Tendencies are all maxed out at 100. And then you take a look at these animations. He's got the D Rose base, Steph Curry upper on very quick timing. He's got amazing dribble sig, some of the best dunk packages like all of the best dunk packages in the game. I mean, this card's so overpowered at point guard. I do think he's going to be an A tier card. K Cunningham, I think is also going to be an A. I might even argue, you know what? I'm going to go Cade as our first S tier player. I think he's the second best point guard in the game. And I think probably like what top three at each position around will be in the S tier category. So I'm going to go Cade and S. I know people might not like him as much as I do, but I do think Cade's a top three point guard. I have, a, I have him at number two or number three. So I do think Cade's going to be our first S tier. Artis Gilmore, I'm going to go probably high B or low A. Still a really good defender. There's just so many other great cards in the game that I'm going to go Artis Gilmore in B tier for now. Seven foot two at power forward. Great player model. Great defender. He's just like a Bill Russell, but at that power forward position. LaMelo Ball, another really tricky one because he's really good offensively. But once again, there's just so many other great point guards. I'm going to go high A tier for LaMelo Ball. I still think because of his jump shot, he's an invincible card. So 99 every single stat has some solid dribble sigs. I would take a man Thompson and Cade definitely over LaMelo Ball, but I'll go low A tier for now. Victor Wembenyama, easily the best card in my team. I don't think it's even close to being a debate. I mean, this man is just so overpowered. Seven foot five at small forward, eight foot wingspan. Read that again. Seven foot five at the small forward position with an eight foot wingspan. And he's an invincible, as you guys know, 99 every single stat, 55 Hall of Fame badges, maxed out defensive tendencies, and they also gave him an elite level jump shot. Kyle Kuzma based, Tim Duncan upper on very quick timing, and then he's also got the best dribble sigs in the game. He moves like a guard, he defends like a center. I mean, he's just all around the perfect card in my team, and I would say easily is the best card in the game, maybe one of the best cards in my team history, just because of his dominance, seven foot five at that small four position. Scotty Barnes, I'm a go B, really good defender, like Scotty Barnes a lot. I mean, good, good at driving to the basket, plays really good defense, he's athletic, he's got a new jump shot. I think he's probably going to be in B tier. Ben Simmons, another easy A tier option. I think Kate's slightly better than Ben. So I'm going to just go Ben in A tier for now, but I think Ben will most likely be in the S tier category at the end of the video. Just got to see how many cards I want to have in S and who's in that S tier category. But Ben still one of the best, if not the best defensive point guard, six foot 11 at the one and a really good player model. Big Z, I'm going to go probably B tier for Big Z, maybe A, just because he can play shooting guard and he's seven foot three with a seven foot six wingspan. He brings so many mismatches, so many just opportunities to run different cards. But I do think he's going to be at least B tier for now. Larry Bird, I think you got to go A, still a top five small forward in the game. Really good jump shot. You know, now that they updated it, he's six foot nine at small forward, seven foot wingspan, 
Like I said, he's got that updated release, the Eric Paschal base, Kevin Love upper on very quick timing, and then he's got some of the best dribble sigs, best dunk packages. He's got the Trey Fade, maxed out defensive tendencies. I mean, Larry Bird's an absolute beast, and I would say for sure is an A tier card in the game. Anthony Black, I'm gonna go high B tier, kind of on that same range as Scotty Barnes. I think he's like a tier below a Ben Simmons, a Men Thompson, and LaMelo Ball. Very close though. Like I think him and LaMelo are neck and neck for the point guard position. I'm gonna just go Anthony Black and high B tier for now. Bull Bull, I still think you gotta give him S tier, even though he's not the best small forward in the game. That obviously goes to Victor. He's still seven foot two at the three, seven foot seven wingspan, can move can knock down threes, can defend. I mean, he's probably one of the best defenders to put on Victor because you need size, you need wingspan, you need player model, you need defense, you need agility. And a lot of cards don't have that. Like some people were saying, oh, just put Big Z on Victor and he'll be perfectly fine. Like Big Z is a great defender against Victor. But you guys are not realizing he has what, 74 speed? Victor's got 99 speed and can move. He's gonna be running around, you know, Big Z every single play. He might stop him on the interior a couple times, but Victor's gonna cook him on the perimeter. That's why I feel like Bull Bull is just a shorter version of Victor Wembanyama. So I do think he's gonna be in the S tier category. Devin Booker, as much as I like D Book at point guard, I'm gonna go high C tier. There's so many other great point guards in the game. Guys like Scotty Barnes, Anthony Black. We still gotta talk about Ron Artest, once Wes Unseld. There's so many great point guards that I do think Booker is gonna be in C. Brad Daughtery, I would say, is probably also gonna be in the C tier category. A really good power forward. Like, I would debate taking Brad Daughtery over Anthony Davis because I believe he's got a really good jump shot. That's probably the main thing about this card. He's seven foot up power forward, seven foot four wingspan, and he's got that super knockdown jump shot, great dribble sigs. But I do think he's going to be somewhere in that C tier category. Invincible LeBron, I would still give him A tier just because I think he's a better version of AK. He's a very similar small forward to Larry Bird. He brings you great defense, great slashing ability. He's for sure not S tier anymore. I still think he's a top tier shooting guard, but I think Invincible LeBron going to be an A tier. I know most people would probably put him in B tier though. Paula Bancaro, I still think he's the third best small forward in the game, and I think he deserves to be in the S tier category. I think he's a very, I don't know if I want to say underrated just because he's an end game, so I feel like he can't really be underrated, but I feel like he's not talked about and how good he is at small forward. Six foot ten with a seven foot wingspan. He's an he's an end game, so 64 Hall of Fame badges, every single one in the game. He's got 99 every single stat. He's got maxed out defensive tendencies. And he's got the same animations as Kevin Durant. So he's just Kevin Durant, but at small forward. And I think he's the third best small forward in the game, right behind Bull Bull and Victor Wembanyama, some of the best, you know, cards in the game in general. Now, I think um, Cam Whitmore, I'm going to probably go C for Cam Whitmore. A decent shooting guard. Wasn't really too impressed trying him out. But I think him and like Vince Carter, I mean, I think you probably still give Vince A tier. I would take Vince over Cam Whitmore, not by a crazy amount, but I do think he's going to be in B tier. Now, Kaysen Wallace is only a six foot, I think three or six foot four point guard. Do you go D or C? Like, I know he's actually really good in game. Like, Kaysen Wallace actually is a really good point guard. He's just only six foot four, but he does play great defense. I'll give him C tier. He's got a great jump shot with that KPJ base, Kevin Love upper. He's got great dribble sigs. I mean, some of the best dribble sigs in the game, really good defensive tendencies. Yeah, I'll give Kaysen Wallace you know, on that same tier as Devin Booker. Chad, I think, is actually going to be an A tier. I personally like Ben Chero, Bull Bull, and Victor Wembanyama over Chad. Not by a crazy margin. I mean, Chad's still one of the best cards in the game. I just think he's going to be probably like the highest A tier. He might be the best card in A, but I do think he's going to be an A tier, at least for now. We'll have to see at the end of the tier list. I think you've got to go Curry and F tier. Don't hate the card. I think he's really fun to use. He's a great offensive point guard. There's just so many other great cards in the game. DeMar DeRozan, I'm going to probably go C tier, like a step below a Vince Carter, you know, a big Z at that shooting guard position. Grady Dick, I think is probably B. He's a very underrated shooting guard. Like I would for sure take Grady Dick over Vince Carter. He's six foot eight at the two, seven foot wingspan, great player model. He's a really good offensive shooting guard. That's the main thing about this card. He's basically got just a better jump shot than Vince Carter. He's got better dribble sigs, and he's a way better defender because of his size, his stats, and his badges. So I do think Grady Dick is going to be in B tier. Dirk Nowitzki, I'm going to probably go either high C or low B. I'll give him low B tier just because he's still a great offensive point guard, has a really good jump shot. 
I think he's a little bit lackluster on the defensive end and isn't the most athletic power forward, not the fastest, not the strongest, but I do think Dirk, just because of his jump shot, I'll give him low B tier. Draymond, I'ma go C. Just a worse Scotty Barnes, you know, definitely worse than an Anthony Black or some of the other great point guards that'll most likely be in B tier. So I think Draymond gonna be in C. D Rob, gotta put him in the same tier as Dirk. So if you wanna go Dirk and D Rob and C, or you wanna go them in A, wherever you wanna put them, I think you gotta put these two power forwards in the same tier. D Rob still got great size for that power forward position and still a very knockdown jump shot. Dwight Howard, I would say, is C tier. Definitely a tier below Dirk and D Rob. Just doesn't have that great of a jump shot. Still a really good defender. Just don't like his jump shot too much. Mark Eden. Am I crazy to say Mark Eden in A tier? I think he's probably the third or fourth best center. Probably the fourth best center in the game. Really good player model. Great interior defender. I still think he's going to be an A tier card because of his size, his defense, and his rebounding ability. And he does have a pretty decent jump shot at that center position. Evan Mobley, I'm saying is an A tier as well. I really like this Mobley card. I think is a debatably top five power forward in the game. Seven foot at that power forward spot. Seven foot four wingspan. He's an invincible, so 99 every single stat. And he's a great defender. Every single Hall of Fame defensive badge. He's got maxed out defensive tendencies. And they gave him a way better jump shot. He's now got that Montrose Harold Bay Sadiq Bay upper, which we know is one of the fastest uppers in the game. He's got a great jump shot, super quick, easy to time with. He's got great dunk packages, great dribble sigs, great stats, badges, tendencies. Like, I think Mobley, one of the more slumped on power forwards in the game. So I do think he's going to be an A tier. Taco Fall. I think you also got to put him in A tier. He's definitely going to be in high A for sure. He's still seven foot six at power forward, eight foot two wingspan. I don't think you could put him in S tier anymore just because there's so many great power forwards and bigs, but I do think Taco going to be in A tier for sure. Michael Finley, I think he might be high B tier. There's so many other good shooting guards in the game. You know, even AK, LeBron, I would personally take over him at the shooting guard position. So I do think Michael Finley going to be in high B tier, at least for now. Marcus Saul, I'm going to go somewhere in the low B tier category alongside Dirk and D-Rob. I think these three power forwards got to be on the same tier. Rudy Gay, I'm going to probably also go B tier. I would say like a step above a Cam Whitmore, a DeMar DeRozan. Like he can still play good defense. He's got good size at shooting guard and still that very easy jump shot to time with. He's great at getting to the basket. I would say Rudy Gay is still going to be a B tier card. Horace Grant, another Anthony Davis type of card, a little bit undersized at that power forward position. I think Giannis is still B, really good defensive card. He's still an invincible, has great size at small 40, 6 foot 11, 7 foot 4 wingspan. I mean, he's still one of the best versatile defenders in the game. So I think you got to give Giannis that B tier category. James Harden, I'm going to make our first D tier card. We got to have some people in D tier. I would take, you know, even Case and Wallace over James Harden just because of the defense. I would take Devin Booker and Draymond. So I really like Harden. I think he's great offensively, but we got to have some cards in that D tier category. Yuta Turkoglu, I would say is B tier. Six foot ten at point guard. Really good jump shot. But is he better than Anthony Black? Is he better than Scotty Barnes? That's kind of the debate. And I don't think he's on the same level as an Amen Thompson. You know, Ben Simmons, Lamelo Ball. So I do think he's going to be in B tier. Still a really good budget point guard in the game. Iguodala, I'm going to go C tier. Like, I know everyone's disappointed with Iggy. And I can definitely see why. I didn't grind limited myself, but I would definitely be disappointed and frustrated if this was a limited, uh, you know, limited prize that I grinded for, you know, for those five or six weeks in a row, whatever it is. But yeah, Iggy's still six foot six at point guard. I don't think he's completely terrible. He's just not worth the grind. So I would say he's like low C tier. I do like him a little bit more than James Harden. I would say Jonathan Isaac might be still B. I think he's a really good defender on the same tier as Bill Russell. He plays great defense, still has a capable jump shot. I'm gonna go Jonathan Isaac in the B tier category. Jabari Smith, kind of underrated at small forward. I'm not sure if you can put Jabari in A tier. I think he's probably just a step below some of the A tier small forwards. He's still really good though. Six foot 10 at small forward, seven foot two wingspan, 99 almost every single stack. Great jump shot, great dribble sigs, good dunk packages, pretty solid defensive tendencies. I think you still gotta go Jabari in that B tier category. Steven Jackson, I'm gonna go D tier. Not saying he's a bad card at all. There's just, once again, so many other great cards in the game. You know, shooting guard Cam Whitmore, DeMar DeRozan, I think are better than Steven Jackson, but I do think he's going to be in D tier. Now, am I crazy to put Jalen Williams in the C tier category? I just don't see, like, the hype or anything with this Jalen Williams card. Like, I know some people are saying he's good, but I just don't see it. He's six foot six at shooting guard. 
a tad bit undersized. Yeah, he's got good stats and badges, but so does every card in the game pretty much. And then you go to his jump shot. I just don't like his release. I think his dribble sigs aren't the best either. His dunk packages are pretty good. His tendencies are really good, but not a great jump shot. Not amazing dribble sigs. I mean, I would take every shooting guard in B tier over Jalen Williams. Like I would take Vince. I would take Grady Dick for sure. Rudy Gay you know big z michael finley for sure and then even in the c tier category is he better than damar damar's got a better jump shot better dribble sigs but i would say he probably fits somewhere in that c tier category jaron jackson jr i actually like a lot i'm gonna go triple j in c tier i think he's a really good defender he's a great rebounder he's got good size at power forward i would say he's like just on the same level as like a dwight howard and an anthony davis joel Embiid, i'm gonna go d tier and once again i think he's a little bit worse than an anthony davis a jjj you know Dwight Howard I think he's a little bit worse than those cards at power forward so I do think he's going to be in the D tier category Nikola Jokic the hero version still is the best point guard in the game for sure going to be an S tier card six foot eleven at point guard great jump shot great size can defend rebound play make score play like dribble like he can do everything dunk the ball you know he can do everything you need from a point guard and just a card in game so I do think he's going to be an S tier now the other Nikola Jokic I would say is on the same tier you know as these three four power forwards D Rob Marcus Saul Dirk so I do think this Nikola Jokic is going to be in B tier he's pretty much an invincible power forward has a good jump shot just like his hero card but can play the power forward spot Josh Smith I'm gonna go B tier as well a really good small forward i just don't know if he's on the same level as a larry bird a lebron a chet at small forward still a really good defender great two-way card in the game can slash at the basket really good carmelone i think is debatably a i think carmelone is low a tier i think he's a little bit better than josh smith better than Giannis. you know a couple power forwards in b tier i think he's a little bit better than so i'm gonna go carmelone in the low a tier category Kawhi leonard i'm gonna also go a tier i think he's a very underrated shooting guard Still gives you great production on defense he can clamp up on the perimeter he's got a great jump shot i think you got to go Kawhi in a tier keontae george i'm gonna go c alongside case and wallace just a little bit undersized for that point guard position and game kevin durant i still think is the best shooting guard in the game don't think it's really a debate i mean you got to have the two end games in the s tier category kevin durant is just paulo ben carroll a little bit better you know wingspan maybe a little bit better player model depending on your preference and he can play shooting guard but him and Ben Caro are the exact literally the exact same card it's just one can play shooting guard one can play small forward but I do think both are going to be an S tier for sure you know Kevin Durant definitely I would say Hakeem probably going to be in D tier not a bad power forward I just prefer like Dwight Anthony Davis Horace Grant Jaron Jackson Jr. to him a little bit Walker Kessler I'm gonna go B I think Walker Kessler could be argued in the A tier category. I'm not sure if he's as good as Mobley. I think Mobley's definitely better. But Walker Kessler is a great power forward. Seven foot at the four, seven foot four wingspan. He's just he's he's a very similar to Mobley. I just like Mobley's jump shot a lot and thinks he gets better defensive animations. But I would say Kessler for sure gonna be in that B tier category. Kevin Garnett also gonna be in B tier, same level as a Jonathan Isaac, a Bill Russell really good defender great size that small forward and can also play that shooting guard position so has even more longevity than a card like Jonathan Isaac just because he can play that shooting guard spot Kobe I'm gonna go is it crazy to say Kobe in C tier I don't think he's better than any of the point guards in B is he better than anybody in B tier I really don't think so I'm gonna go Kobe actually in that C tier category invincible Chris stops for sure gonna be an A I think Chris stops might be in the S tier category though I would say he's better than Taco you know at that power four position i'm gonna leave him in high a tier for now but i could definitely see chris stops you know being in that s tier category i think he's one of the best cards in a right now lance stevenson just another draymond green type of point guard so i do think he's going to be in c tier laurie markinen just because of his size i still think you give him b tier he's seven foot can play small forward great player model great defender i'm gonna still give him that b tier category zach levine really was not impressed by Levine I was really excited to use him and I think he's a fun athletic point guard great at getting to the basket but just don't think his defense lives up to it his dribble sigs aren't the best and his jump shots kind of baited Brooke Lopez I think you got to go C tier if he could play power forward I would put him in B but I just don't think he's on the same level as a D-Rob a Jokic a Mark uh, Marcus Saul a Dirk just because he can only play center and he's only seven foot one at that center position Luka Doncic I'm gonna still give easy A tier two a really good offensive point guard I would say probably still the best offensive point guard in the game and he can really carry your offense Magic I'm gonna go 
I'm gonna go high B tier for Magic Johnson. I think Anthony Black is slightly better at that point guard spot. I still think Magic brings great defense and size to the point guard position, but just really don't like his jump shot. Manu Bowl, easy S tier card. I don't think it's the best card in the game. I think you gotta give that to Victor. I would say these are undisputed the top three cards in the game though, in my opinion. Victor Wembanyama, Manu Bowl, and Kevin Durant. And I think they're all gonna easily be an S tier. Carmelo Anthony, I'm gonna still give I'm gonna still give A tier too. I think he's really good. You know, offensively has a great jump shot. You know, really good dribble six. He's like the perfect offensive shooting guard, and I do think he's gonna be in that low A tier spot. George Mikan, I'm gonna go D tier. Has a good jump shot. He's just super undersized at that power four position. Brandon Miller, I'm gonna go B tier. Great size at shooting guard. He's six foot nine, seven foot one wingspan. Great player model. Pretty decent jump shot. Great dribble six. I do think he's gonna be in that B tier category. Hero Yao Ming. Is he still A tier I, or is he still S tier? I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna go Yao Ming in S for now, just because it's Yao Ming, seven foot six at center, seven foot nine wingspan, great jump shot, great uh, great defense, great size. I do think Yao's gonna be in that S tier category. Mitchell Robinson, I'm gonna go D tier, a little bit worse than Brooke Lopez. MJ, I'm gonna still give A tier too. I think he's really good, you know, as a defender, slash into the basket. I like him a little bit more than LaMelo Ball at the point guard position. So I'm gonna go MJ in that A tier category. Mo Bamba, I'm gonna go D tier. Another card that, I mean, not bad at power forward. He's good for a budget power forward. There's just so many other great power forwards in the game. Bob Nedeleki, I still think you gotta give B tier too. I wouldn't say A tier. He's great offensively. Could use a little bit more size and defense, but I think Bob Nedeleki for sure is a B tier small forward. Don Don Ole, I think is still great offensively, but I think you go, I think you gotta go F tier. I mean, I like Don Ole, I like Don Ole a lot, but I just think you gotta go F tier because of his size. Pau Gasol gonna be in D tier. Pink Diamond Peter, I'm gonna go probably also in that D tier category. Just not the greatest stats and badges. Jump shots decent though. Scotty Pippen, I'm gonna go B. A really good defender at the shooting guard position, still has a great catch and shoot jump shot. There's just so many other great shooting guards and small forwards in the game. Uh, Ralph Sampson, I'm gonna go probably high B tier. I think he's a step below Mark Eden. Like I do like Mark Eden a lot more at that center position, but I do think he's gonna be one of the best cards in B. Cream, I would say is probably high B tier as well. A little bit worse than like Taco. You know, a little bit worse than Kristaps at power forward. So I do think Evan Mobley, I would take over Cream. So I would say Cream is going to be in that high B tier category. Rick Smith, I'm going to go S tier, man. I think he's a better center than Yao, even though it's really close at that center position. I just like him a little bit more than Yao Ming because of his jump shot. But that really just comes down to preference. And I think they both got to be an S tier just because of their size and dominance at that center position. Ron Artes, another easy B tier option. Like I said, he's on that same level as a... You know, Magic Johnson, Scotty Barnes, Anthony Black. Once we get to West Unsell, they're all going to be in B tier. Russell Westbrook going to have to be in F tier. Another undersized point guard. I think he's fun to use in game, but a little, a little bit too undersized for point guard. Sabonis, I'm going to go D tier. The other Sabonis, I'm going to go... I'm gonna go C for Sabonis. He's still got pretty good size at that center position. Seven foot three. I just really don't like his jump shot. Shea, I'm gonna go in D tier on the same level as a James Harden and a Zach Levine. Invincible Shaq, I'm gonna go S tier. I think if you're not counting Manu Bull as a power forward, or even, even if you do count Manu Bull, I think he's the second best power forward in the game. A really dominant power forward, got a great jump shot. I think you gotta put Shaq in S. Jack Sigma, I'm gonna go probably B tier. Another like Dirk, Marc Gasol, Jokic, d -Rob type of power forward. I think Tatum's also going to be in B tier. A really solid small forward. I do like his jump shot. Play solid defense. I just don't know if he's on the same level as a Chet, a Larry Bird. You know, these amazing small forwards in the game. But I think for sure going to be in B tier. Uh, Terry Dishinger, really good offensively. I still think you got to give him A because of his offense. His jump shot's still super knockdown and really good dribble six. So Terry's going to be in A tier. T-Mac got to be S. I would say he's the second best shooting guard in the game. Him and Kevin Durant, I would say a pretty obvious one and two in my opinion. I do think T-Mac going to be an S tier card. Tim Thomas, I'm going to go high A tier or like somewhere in the A tier category. I don't think he's S tier anymore. He's still 6'10 at shooting guard though. Has a great jump shot and still a very solid defender. Vucevic, I'm going to go in D tier alongside Hakeem. Jairus Walker, I think is actually really good. I'm going to throw him a B tier. A really solid small forward, especially for that budget price. Bill Walton, another power forward on that Marcus Saul, Dirk, you know, Jack Sigma, D-Rob, Jokic type of level. I think he's going to be a B tier. 
The other Victor Wembanyama I don't think is S tier just because his stats, his badges, his jump shot, his dribble sigs aren't as overpowered. But I think this Victor is still going to be an A tier because he's seven foot five with an eight foot wingspan and can play power forward. So still got that great size. Wes Unseld and Andrew Wiggins I think are both going to be in B tier. Wes Unseld, a very similar point guard to Scotty Barnes to Ron Artest. He plays good defense and does has a good jump shot does have a good jump shot. I think Wiggins also going to be in B tier, a really good two-way shooting guard. But Will Chamberlain, I'm going to go D tier, just don't like his jump shot. Invincible Zion, I'm going to probably go low B tier. Still a really good offensive small four, just a little bit undersized. And then Alonzo Mourning, I think is going to be in that probably C tier category. So yeah, guys, that's going to be my top 100 card tier list. But how many cards do we have in S? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm going to throw Chris Stops also in the S tier category. I'm going to throw Chet also in S tier. And then I'm also going to put Ben Simmons in that S tier category. So yeah, guys, that's going to be my top 100 card tier list. I'll quickly just scroll through the tiers so you guys can see where I do rank every card. We got a lot of guys in B, a lot of guys in A, and even a lot of guys in the C tier category. Definitely took me a long time to record this video, edit, upload, all that type of stuff. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys would change about my tier list, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.